This is Denise Robinson for another lesson by YourTechVision.com and today I'm going to show uh, you how to change media boards. If you take a look at this, you're going to see all the F keys, F1 through F12 are sharing with media options. Uh, this is for gaming and other media, so you've got, you know, everything relates to media, so the, the direct on key will make the computer brighter, less bright, uh, volume, etc. Uh, so that means if you want to use those F keys, you have to combine it with that FN or function key. Well, if you're using talking software and you have to do a command like insert F4, which has always been just two keys, you now have to hold down the FN, then you need to locate your insert key if you have another one up at the top, which of course is at the very top of the print screen uh, button. You're going to have to make sure you have the FN for that before you do uh, the F4. So I'm going to show you how to do this. This is on an HP. All hardware is slightly different in order to get into the BIOS. The BIOS, you cannot use a mouse. It, you cannot use talking software with it. So here is the HP BIOS. I hit F10. You immediately turn on the computer and just touch the F10 key until you get into your BIOS. It's a blue screen. Uh, this one happens to, is a brand new computer, so it happens to have a lighter background, but typically these are blue. This is a good blue screen, not the what we call the blue screen of death. And you will also see down here your F keys of what you need to do for help and exit. So if you really screw up in here, don't. This is the brains of the computer. You can really mess it up. So if you goof, escape will completely get you out without changing anything. But here I am in the main menu. So we've got main. I have to hold the camera in order to, to get move around here. So I'm going to go right arrow because once again, you cannot use your mouse. Bypass security and go to system. Now, once I'm in system, I'm going to down arrow, and I'm going to go to action keys mode, and it is enabled. Uh, when you first get them, you're going to read over here, disable requires pressing FN key plus F1 through F12 to activate action keys. If you no longer want to do that, if you don't want a media machine and you're using a lot of keyboard commands, you want to enable, which requires pressing only F1 through F12 to activate action keys. So change that and you have uh, solved all the issues of doing your FN. Then you need to come down here and you're going to hit F10 to save and exit. Okay, And if you really muck it up, you're going to hit F9, which uh, basically will set up defaults. Okay, But if you really screw up and just go to exit, start all over. Okay, so I've already set these up, uh, so I'm just going to hit F10 to save and exit. And it says, exit saving changes? Yes. Okay, we're good. So hit enter, and your computer starts. Okay, bye everybody. That's a lesson for yourtechvision.com.